Sorry for DJ rocking everybody. Today I'll review some iPad apps. Yeah, I guess I had to get here someday. Now, sorry for the blurry quality. This is my first iPad review and I'm trying to find a proper way to record the screen. I have like a hundred different cameras to try out. So today we will have a look at free music apps on the iPad. Although they're not free. The first app we're having a look at is with no doubt the most expensive app I have ever downloaded. It's called DJ, nominated app of the year 2011, and it allows you to mix music like a bot. But if you plan on making a video of yourself jamming it out, then get ready to be sued up the ass by copyright claims. Nah, just kidding. Why would anyone do that to the greatest DJ in the house? If it wasn't for DJs mixing music on the radio, no one would buy music in the first place. Now sure, they have the license to play the music, but uh, how dare you insult the great DJ Dream. Now really, as long as you play small parts of the song with blurry quality and you don't put the name of the songs in the descriptions, they won't find you. And besides, most music companies have their own music partnered on YouTube. So the worst thing that can happen is that they make money off your video. Now, as long as you're not a partner yourself, this is not a big deal. But be aware of some bands like the Beatles. They will get you. Now, back to the review. You can choose any song from your own music library. And you can play two at the same time. You can play one song and add cool effects to it. Or play two songs at once and smoothly transition from one song to another. I am impressed by how well it all works. It never lags, the sounds play at the speed you want them to, and the sound quality is 100% spot on. There is a slight loading time on opening a new song, but it's very short. The app also detects how many BPM beats per minute noob the song has and allows you to change the speed and make the rhythm go in harmony with other songs. You can hit the sync button to do this automatically, and the speed of the song will change. Now, if you choose a song with a completely different beat, the song will sound strange. And they don't tell you which songs have a similar beat, so you have to waste your time looking for one. This is my main problem with the app. There is no list where all the songs are put in order from slowest beat to fastest. So I had to make my own playlist for that. Problem solved. So that's DJ. It's not the most advanced app ever, but it has all the basic features of a DJ table. I think it's perfect for newbies like myself, but it might not satisfy the professional or the DJ elitists. Uh, where's the origin option? The next app I want to try out is far more affordable and was nominated App of the Week a while ago. That's not nearly as impressive, but it's called DM1. I guess it stands for drum machine and it's called number one because they really think this is the best app ever. Drum machine number one allows you to make your own beats. I guess it's useful if you're a DJ and you need some beats to mix into your songs. Even as a standalone, it is very fun and easy to make beats. You have a very simple user interface where you just tap squares to add notes. Horizontally you choose when the note appears and vertically you choose what instrument makes it. You can't change the pitch so there's no way to make actual music but rather monotone beats. Finally you can make multiple sessions and put them all into a timeline to make a continuous song. If you're a rapper or want to make pop music, then this app is essential for you. For everyone else, I think this next app will satisfy more. GarageBand. Straight from Apple, this is a first party application. And wow, it really impressed me. Wait, did I say it was for everyone? Isn't pop music like what 98% of the world listens to? Never mind. Look at all these instruments. Guitar, piano, drums and even violin. You can record your own sessions and put them together in a timeline to make your own song. These are actual instruments, so you can make actual music. <laughs> 
but you can't place individual notes in the timeline like in DM1, so you have to play the music by yourself in real time, and then just make it repeat in a timeline. It's a bit hard to play along with the rhythm even with the metronome turned on. But the metronome sucks, it's boring to listen to. That's why I recommend using the automatic drum to make some beats. You place these icons around and the beat will sound different. I have really no idea what I'm doing, but it sounds good. It's not as complex as DM1, but it works. The manual drums are more dynamic and you have more control. I noticed that the harder you hit the drums, the louder it gets. I guess you didn't expect your iPad to do that. Every instrument is really well made and it gives you plenty of things to do. Like with the guitar, you can either tap each individual string or strum across all the strings. With the violin, you can tap to make a short sound or hold it to make a long sound. The timeline editing works really well. You can add multiple tracks with the different instruments, you can shorten down clips and multiply them. The result does sometimes get really awesome. GarageBand is a surprisingly good application. It's far better than iMovie, which actually disappointed me a bit. I'll show you that one day. So, those were free or like 10,000 other music apps on the App Store. Which one of these three do I recommend the most? Well, I personally got the biggest amount of value and enjoyment from DJ. But if you put price into consideration, DJ is very expensive. So therefore, I think GarageBand is the most essential app to buy. Of course, I don't think anyone here cares because you guys have only jailbreak your iPhone and you can just download them all for free. I wish these people could just die. DM1 is also good, but what you can do is very limited, but it's simple to use. All these apps have their own purposes, so you should choose by yourself. Where's the auto-tune option?